Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. It's Shirley with Spirit of Matter. And the topic for today is um, a technique to deprogram psychic attackers, uh, particularly for when you deal with uh, satanic abuse or kind of like targeted individuals, um, or that you're uh, the person that bothers you with the energy or that interferes with the energy is uh, uh, assassin or um, a survivor or still in that type of uh, cults and this is um, I call it the freeze and the freeze freeze and the freeze which means that you're basically aiming to freeze the actions the thoughts the patterns of the person defreeze yourself but we are also going to interfere in the programming okay and this is all uh, intentions that you set it's all intentions that you set and so um, when you feel first of all let's talk about the sky right now um right now we have the moon conjunct in from aloud so we're going to call on from aloud for the deep wisdom of the underwater that which cannot easily be uh, uh, spoken in words so this is the deep the deepest of intuitions uh, to clarify our uh, names our reputations uh, but also to clarify our psyche and purify our soul and we have a mystic rectangle in the sky between Lilith in Libra, Pluto in Aquarius, Neptune in Pisces, and the Sun in Leo, uh, which is a very psychic energy. And the download that I received, um, preparing myself for uh, 29th of this month of July, when I'm uh, at the, um, going to set intention to have another um, uh, Uranus Moon, I'll go uh, Talisman, uh, with fifth lunar mention, with moon in Taurus, um, big energies, uh, decreasing, so very shielding, and intentions are already set for the talisman, so I'm receiving the uh, correct downloads. And I'm going to call for uh, red barrel energy. I'm going to connect with the root and roots. Um, uh, I'm going to be receiving the kind of the Christ consciousness, not kind of a Christ consciousness, Archangel Michael um, energies and call on the red barrel and um, imagine you see the red barrel. Um, you can imagine it with the root chakra or uh, surrounding you um, and seeing healing of uh, the root chakra and the connection to a uh, source of spirit that is truly nourishing and protective um, of you and to see that for yourself and for people uh, around earth and now let's begin so when you experience certain things that try to interfere with your energy and of course this is meant for when you able to do so okay this the point of this video is not uh, victim blaming or shaming it's like if you can tap into it that perhaps is a tool that can be useful to you and i don't care if you are within the cult and trying to quit if you are uh, outside the cult trying to quit if you're indigenous and this happens to you if you're satanic or abrahamic or whatnot uh, for whichever use it is for you to deprogram um, from things that are meant to do you harm and to do others harm uh, then uh, this is valid information and so whenever you feel the interference in your energy happens um, depending on kind of like your level of shielding and protecting or, or whatever you practice um, to take this one level up so to take the return to sender the putting boundaries uh, the power of tree, okay, return to sender, uh, use the power of tree that was inverted to use it in the correct form. 
okay, uh, with the repetitions. I want you to begin, if you're able and ready, to begin to um, think about the deprogramming for the patterns of the attack and the fall, whoever attacker is. Or not necessarily attacker, it can be somebody that is being attacked themselves or is in the cold themselves and they experience this and we feel that. So what you would do is that you would first of all freeze the pattern, immediately freeze the situation. You're going to freeze the energy, freeze the attack, freeze. Once you, you can use for Colin on better per se, uh, which she does, she turns the man into stone. Okay, so you're going to freeze the person. Freeze them. Right now, attack, we freeze it. We don't let it go. We don't let it continue. Okay, you can call it power of ice. Um, and then I want you to begin to interfere in the energy and create alchemy in the programming while you are defreezing yourself. That's why I call it freeze and defreeze. Okay? So basically you are defreezing yourself, you set intention, also if you say I set intention to defreeze myself, because what they intend to do is to freeze you. It's not what they intend, what the programming intends, okay? Because a lot of these people, they have did, they have many things. Um, and so to upgrade your level of uh, uh, dealing with these things, you're going to interfere in the energy that attacks you or that bothers with your energy, and you're going to uh, set uh, in whichever way, you can imagine kind of like a, a golden nervous system or you can imagine um, or you can set intention okay, you look at the patterns you see what they do you see what the patterns and you, with your energy alchemize for the pattern to deprogram and you set intention to deprogram for this program uh, of people. I want to give a concrete example. Uh, I was laying, uh, yes, laying, watching YouTube and so on, and then I felt energy coming to co communicate with me, and I know this energy, um, and they have certain patterns, so I just said, okay, this is not uh, happening. Then they were trying to use knife, psychic knife, and I said, but well, this time, it's not just return to sender with this, the dance is said, okay, this person is younger than me, they're going through a Saturn maturation. And not only that, they are lawyer. Okay. And so um and, and this is could be that this person or somebody shape shifting into this person. It doesn't matter for the for the sake of the praxis, okay? Because we don't do it specifically on the person, we do it on the pattern. That's important. Uh, as always, even when you do simple return to sender, known and unknown. But you never return to specific person. Why? Because it's very easy to do shape shifting. Okay, so we want to target the actual pattern, not the imageries of it. So, in this way, I said I freeze the situation immediately to freeze the use. I said, This is a younger person than me. I know what the person that either is shape shifting or not, I know what the person, younger person than me. Okay. I see they have this pattern. And so I freeze. First of all, I say freeze. That they will not be able to use the knife. And I said, for this knife is Mars. They need a good use of the knife. They get a good use. And I said, set intention for this person to learn how to use the knife. Well, not to use the knife. Not to use the knife on innocent people. Not to use the knife um, 
or for no reason, not to use the knife for when you uh, uh, are scared of somebody, you should not be scared of at all. Okay, not to use this knife uh, in that way, definitely not uh, well, for things for, for, you know, it's not a uh, proper way to use. So to freeze all of these uses, so not to use the knife in this way. But for this person to use the knife in correct way, because knife is not bad. Knife is actually a uh, knife, you know, we cut the wedding cake with knife. Uh, knife, we uh, sever ties, we set boundaries with knife, uh, okay, even, even on a ritual. Uh, so, I said I want this person to have okay use of the knife. And then I feel a bit, uh, I set intention for that, and I feel a deprogramming downloading. A deprogramming downloading. And then I said for all people, for all people, so that they will have downloaded deprogramming. And for the people or the young girls that they treat this way too. Because I'm an older person, but I look a bit younger. Uh, I'm 40, okay, they're supposed to be 36 or so, subtle maturation. Um, but if for not to use on, on children, on this and that, on, on anybody, uh, and again, it can be shape shifting, but it doesn't matter for the pattern, use the pattern all across the board. Uh, so for not to use this on, on girls, and then for not only me, but for the girls or for the boys to defreeze. Okay, so that they free, so that they can regain um, movement and regain uh, uh, um, essential confidence and regain all of these things, the trust, not based on, you know, torture, betrayal, rape of children, trade organs of children, but the trust, um, uh, self-trust and, and, of course, trust in the surroundings and so for this person whoever involved with this for them to get back the gift of trust and of ability that yes to use to use boundary setting absolutely to protect yourself absolutely yes but not to have to even be in a such situation for to attack or so on um now what this does is take it into level of so it's both improving your uh, skill as um, a warrior or for whatever you do that you want to protect. Okay, everybody has a gift in life, whether it's your life or your family or your skill or what you value, what you came here to do. And in this situation, um, First of all, a high call on energy. We begin with healing because uh, healing is very simple and is something that I do and in different way Mark Bayerski does. And this is where you give healing. Is basically you don't drain it from yourself. You invite it from the crown up, what you call Christ, what you call uh, Christ consciousness. Okay, but then Jesus, but then Jesus, but then Muhammad, but then the prophets call on the energy or you call okay whatever energy of love or whatever healing energy uh, Archangel Michael is appropriate um, and then you call on the you receive the energy the energy heals you transmutes and then you give not of your energy but of the healing energy transmuted through you this is how you don't get drained after healing, but you actually feel invigorated and life full. This technique, uh, Mark Bayerski, I, I think, still teaches such technique. Okay, very different of what we do, um, but it's something uh, I learned uh, there. And also to remember when you begin to interfere for Mark Bayerski's um, uh, wisdom around healing, it is healing as far as path allows so my ego out of the way where this person takes it i defend myself anyway other than that for my ego if the person heals not heals out of the way 
I defend myself. I defend myself and then I'm not dependent in my ego if this person goes through process or not. I give unconditionally. But you also must do it only when you feel you're able to give unconditionally. Or to deprogram the satanic abuse, the programming of these people have. Okay, if a person can look at a young girl and to think to bring uh, knives to her, to bring to this, not a, a skinky play, okay, for genuine for to hurt a person or to intimidate or to frighten a person, not as intimate or kinky or this or that. I don't know, it's not king shame for anybody, but for those cruelties, for gift is that to deprogram that for the day will have access to life and then for whatever boundaries they need to set the day will set appropriately so and this is um only when you feel that is correct for you to say it's intuitive it's something that happened to me intuitively upon embarking on okay the journey to do my next moon i'll go uh uranus talisman the fifth one i mentioned moon in taurus um back with all the goodies and uh with, with the intentions um then i received these downloads right now uh, within this mystic rectangle and moon and full allowed okay so it doesn't mean you'll do it every time, but I want you to have this tool. I want you to have this tool for to protect the energy, uh, for you to be able to heal yourself independently of healers, of shamans, of astrologers. Okay, I know I am an astrologer, but you see, I'm not receiving reading for a while because I'm tending to myself. Not all people have privilege to do that, but I want you to have ability to do something for yourself in your own power in your own agency for not to have to depend with your well-being uh, uh, so deeply we all depend it to interconnection and so on and validation yes we're really sociable um, but uh, for you to have a lot of people that did not even have any source or any access and if you feel you cannot even tap into what i say then say i ask for uh, uh, access for what's appropriate for me uh, to be able to tap into okay what is actually nourishing to me uh, to be able to tap into it is not to blame yourself if you didn't do it anyway you protected yourself anyway you protected yourself you already tended to yourself and if you froze and you couldn't protect yourself also it was for your protection so that you wouldn't steer up something that you cannot ward off okay so freezing has yes but we want to defreeze we want to defreeze a defreeze whether it's the girls whether it's the boys whether it's yourself okay because defreezing is basically warming up to motion to love to fluidity to uh, within a, a safe space for you to your body your energy and 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 to have access to love because this is when i say love i mean the most pure form love before romantic before this before anything this is where you have self-trust and you have trust and, and the love and the access to love then you can uh, continue for to move forward and to uh, appropriately direct your energy so um, if you uh, feel that you're called in to do these things only when you feel ready to you feel intuitively that it's appropriate for you um, that can okay assist or the most important to, to protect yourself or to protect your boundaries um, then if we can send the deprogramming uh, for alchemy 
um, only for where you can give unconditionally. And here is an astrological tip. A lot of these people that you can feel, I can give unconditionally here, they have something in the 12th house. That's the house that we give unconditionally. Okay, so they may be younger than you, but they may have something in your 12th house, especially if younger than you, that um, enables you to give without expecting, um, without expectation. Okay, the only expectation is that, um, uh, that that would be accessible to them from the ego, as far as the path allows to access with this energy. And so, this is a uh, uh, 12th house, it's also a house of what a bedroom again. This happened when I was lying in my on a mattress, okay, uh, also of hotels, of hospitals, of jails. Um, and uh, far away travel, but also the dream state, and it's the house where um, uh, people can contact you when you are not present in the room. So this is house of channeling and mediumship, but also if people are uh, not well meaning to you and they want to do it in a hidden way, then this is where the window, okay, for they will, for they can try to access you um, uh, in that way, shape, or form. And of course, you can do something about it. If you attune to your energy, you can do something about it. You can tend to it and you can alchemize um, your energy. You want to see where the ruler of the 12th house for you is in what house. Uh, for example, for me, ruler of the 12th in the 9th, Saturn. So, tending to satanic ritual abuse and ascending this unconditional healing is great 12th house remediation. Using the power of rocks, okay, or the crystals, which is again Saturn, and especially when it comes to um, uh, sexual abuse uh, and so on. So, it, it, I have the I have the power to assassin the assassin, but a more um, a, a correct form than possible would be to deprogram for these types of rituals uh, and these type of practices. Um, and so um, that is uh, also, and you want to see what planets you have in the 12th house. Those are the houses that get into the 12th. So it's kind of like when they open your bedroom, what planet they see, okay? <laughs> what do they see when they open, uh, uh, yes, uh, the bedroom? Uh, or uh, it's kind of like a, uh, the dream state. Okay, if you enter the dream state, what is it that they see uh, in the dream state? So, again, those are also the places where you do have uh, interference, where you can, um, where you can uh, do something about it and feel um, that you can defreeze your own uh, state there. Uh, which is important and is uh, building again trust and love and connection um, and understanding that it's okay to set the boundaries and it's also important that you alchemize with this energy as well as you can uh, so that more and more people can access the defreeze rather than the freezing states or god forbid the attacking states uh, or attacked so i hope this is useful and um, you can use it yes at any time um, of course to set now the, the shielding or the, of this energy um, shielding or the warding off of what not what doesn't need to be here um, and setting it to be sent to other people that can gain from it. Uh, and of course, to, to, to deprogram any attempts to malefic interfere. So that's my energy, your energy, the viewers, the video itself, um, and to ward off 
uh, and freeze such interferences uh, and reward off uh, such attacks and facilitate the 